In this move, we're going to make a really crude audio player. I've got a track here which has come from the, the Microsoft uh, files, and I'm going to make. Um, well, let's have a look at this. I'm going to make uh, a music player. Um, this is going to be the the base of it. Just call it Player Background. And I'm going to put some buttons on here. Uh, we're going to have a stop button. Let's make that white. Uh, we'll just call that stop. So that's going to stop our audio. Um, now, we need a triangle for for playing and there's a way of doing this which is a little bit tricky but let's have a go what we're going to need to do is turn this into a diamond then make it into a symbol and then change the overflow to hidden and then reduce the size by half and what we see is half of the diamond so let's change it into a diamond first uh, we skew, um, probably go is it that way, go that way to about 45, and this way, ah, it's the other way I need it. So just play around till you get the top over the bottom, something like that. We want something symmetrical. There is a formula for this. It's something like 27 there. And is this minus 45? I suspect it might be minus 45. Something like that. You play around with that. And then we make it into a symbol. Call it um, play. No, call it triangle because we're going to use it for our fast forward as well. And then once we've made it into a symbol, we double click it. Obviously it needs to be a bit more symmetrical than that. The overflow we're going to change to hidden, which means when we reduce the height, make sure these are unlinked, and reduce the height, we crop off the bottom. Okay, so it's not brilliant, but that's okay. Then we go back to the stage. If it's not showing you there, just delete it and then bring triangle back. And you can see the space it takes, but you can also see that you're only seeing half of it. So go to transform. If you press shift, it sort of locks there. I'm going to do um, copy and whoops paste and then I'm just going to reduce the size of this and then I'm just going to do a control C control V um, and get that and I'm also going to get this control C control V put it over here and rotate that way okay so uh, go back to the beginning and start playing. Stop whatever you're doing. Play forwards. Play forwards at double time. Okay, so let's just group these together. Um, it's probably a good idea to make them into uh, a symbol. Uh, but we'll select all of these and we'll go to Auto so that we are getting the pointer. So let's just have a look at what we've got. Deselect and press Control and Enter. So we've got the hover. So this is our little player. Very good. So let's just close these up a bit. Right. We haven't got any sound on stage at the minute, so we bring our audio onto stage. We don't see it, but it's here. And then 
basically we just start controlling it. Click on the button you want, click on the actions, uh, on click I'm going to have the audio um, play. It's an item on stage and it's called Sleep Away 4. Double click that um, and to test it we'll do the stop. Ideally we should be on here, then we're not getting the transform. Audio. Um, pause audio. There's one on stage which is Sleep Away 4. So now when we play this, I don't know if you're able to hear this. That should be working, but it's not. Let me just... Alright, you all spotted that, didn't you? <laughs> um, I put two pieces of code in and I thought I was putting one on the stop but I ended up putting it on the triangle for play and you can see there's only one highlighted here. Um, it's a bit of an issue with this, you, you don't see a lot but there's the play and then it immediately follows up by pause so I put that in the wrong place so let's start again. The stop has on click the audio, pause audio on stage, double click. So uh, we've now got two, and this should start working. So hopefully you can hear that. Um, if you can't, we can see this plane here, and then we stop. So that works okay. Um, this object here now, we're going to play uh, this group two. We'll just call this uh, fast forward. Um, we'll put some code in here, which is a click, and the audio is going to have its speed adjusted to, well, that will be half speed. So let's make it 2.0. So this is going to be twice as fast. When you click play, it goes back to normal speed. Okay, and then uh, this one going back, um, we'll call this um, back to start. And in the code here, on click, we'll go the audio, play from stage. And then here we'll just put zero. So we go back and start at the front. Okay, that's it. Um, fairly, fairly easy if you just click on any of these um, and go back to the audio. Uh, we can mute. We can adjust the speed, which we've done, the volume. So you could make um, one arrow going up and one pointing down and uh, change the volume to high or low. Uh, toggle the mute, sort of turn it on or off. Whatever it is, the next button does the opposite. Um, and toggle play pause. So instead of having a play and a stop or play and a pause, you, you can have it all on one. Um, so that's it. Uh, very simple audio player.